The third torque your body must produce in order for you to run your best will come from the right arm. And looking at it on our female athlete, I want you to once again imagine it is the only force acting on the body. So nothing else is going on at this time. The other arm isn't involved and neither are her legs. We see then that because it has been thrust out in front of her, which is a function of the shoulder flexors that include muscles like the anterior deltoid and pec major that I'll talk more about in a later video, it will exert a pulling force on the right shoulder joint forward in this direction as depicted by the white horizontal arrow. And yes, there is a vertical component to this force as well that I have shown by the red arrow. But as before, I'm going to draw the net result of these two component forces with just one simple horizontal white arrow. So keep that in mind. Now again, if this was the only force acting on the body, do you think the effect of it would be to just pull her straight forward? Or do you think there might also be some additional reaction? Well, once more, the only way this force causes her to move straight ahead would be if it were acting along her midline over here, but that's not the case. So since it's displaced away from it, again seen here, it would not only pull her forward, but would also cause her upper body to twist or rotate. Again, it would have to because it does not fall along her midline where her center of gravity lies. So if she does rotate, the question then is, which direction would it be? Clockwise or counterclockwise? To help you see this better, let's look at this from above on our male athlete. The same force on our female athlete, pulling her forward on her right shoulder joint, can also be shown here on our male athlete. So as the force pulls forward on this vertical line that now represents the level of his shoulders, we can see where it will try and rotate it in the what direction? Care to take a guess? If you said the counterclockwise direction, then good job once more, as you are correct. And let's show it by the direction of this red arrow. And let's go to our female track athlete and place the corresponding counterclockwise red arrow on her, showing this rotational force or torque. And perhaps now you can see this one taking place a little better as well. All right, that's going to do it for this video. You can access the link to the next part in this series, as well as all 12 parts in the description below. Now, before I go, I want to say that if you liked my video, then please click the like button. Feel free to share it wherever you want and leave me a question or comment as I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and follow Athletic Quickness on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to stay up to date on all of our speed training tips, articles, and exercises. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.